Hey family, it's Christy from See Me Vlogs, and in today's video, I am going to be making chicken spaghetti. Now, this is my first time following this recipe, but it looks like it's going to be delicious, so we are going to try it out and see how it goes. We're going to have chicken spaghetti, salad, and garlic bread. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get everything going that needs to cook, which in this case, I'm not cooking chicken. I bought a rotisserie chicken, but I'm going to need to put my, my well normally you would use spaghetti I'm using angel hair pasta because I like the smaller one so we'll go ahead and get that going and um, I'll show you how I make my chicken spaghetti so let's get it so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get um, our chicken broth going I'm not using water I'm using chicken broth so let me grab the chicken broth And I'm using chicken broth because I like the flavor that it gives the noodles. This is chicken, uh-oh, this is chicken spaghetti. So we want it to be as chickeny as possible. So I didn't quite use the whole container. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough chicken broth in here to cover the noodles. So we're gonna let that boil. And once it starts boiling, we're gonna add our pasta. Chicken broth is going. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up the chicken. Now I'm not an expert at this, so don't laugh at my method, okay? I just want the chicken cut up enough to not be too chunky, but not be too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the wings and legs and focus on the more solid pieces if I need that meat. I can always pull it off later. I have no idea the proper way to cut chicken. My mom is probably cringing watching me do this, but I just get it off the bone and then chop it up the best I can. That's all I know to do. So. I don't know whether to use the skin or not, but I don't think so. I think I'm just going to pull that skin off and just use the white and dark meat. That skin be having that flavor in it. Mm, got that pretty clean. So, let's just cut this up in chunks. Like I said, it don't have to be too small. Some of it can be shredded. Some of it can be chunks. Just want it chickeny. You know what I mean? That's a piece of skin. Oh, I see some more little meat on the back there. And then I'll pull the meat off the legs. Skin has all the calories, but it also has all the flavor. We'll say that wing. Hmm. Say the wing for the Chester. Okay. Let me wash my hands. And I'm gonna grab a bowl to put this chicken in. this chicken in a bowl so I can wash off the cutting board that skin that that wing has some good flavor 
All right, so that is the chicken. Really, I don't have to wipe off the cutting board just yet because that chicken flavor can soak up in the uh, peppers if it want. Okay, we're gonna cut up a bell pepper. Can you see me? Okay, now that the chicken broth is boiling, we'll go ahead and add the angel hair pasta. The recipe calls for three cups and one container is a pound that equals about four cups in most pasta but i am going to add the whole box and if i notice that it's just too many noodles i'll just take some out what i like about the angel hair is that you can get it cut in half and not have to worry about breaking up the noodles. I want it to stick so we'll give it a little stir and we'll do the same in a few minutes. We don't want to just cook these all the way. We just want them al dente. So they only need to boil for a few minutes. Okay, so let's get back to cutting the bell pepper while we wait on the noodles. pepper don't forget about the uh, you can multitask but don't forget about the noodles because you don't want them to stick to the pan and you don't want them to stick to each other so remember to give them a stir a few minutes after they start boiling Go ahead and turn that off. They're going to continue to cook in that hot broth just a little while longer while we cut up the onion. stuck 
they move easily, I'll grab them. If not, I'll leave them. Okay. All right. So they got out pretty easy. I need to really quickly wash out the pan. I uh, smothered some turkey wings in this pan. Uh, today's Tuesday, Sunday, and lazily put the whole pan in the refrigerator. So, and we knocked them off last night. And I didn't wash dishes, so let me wash this out. I just had to soak it just a little bit. It was pretty good. Alright, so we got our, our dish nice and clean. We'll let that dry. I need a bigger bowl for the mixture. So let's do that. I got the chicken spaghetti in the oven. You guys weren't recording. I hope you caught that. But I got the chicken spaghetti in the oven. And now I'm going to clean up my area and make the salad. As I just checked and I did, was not recording. So basically what I did was I got a bigger bowl. Um, I grabbed a bigger bowl. And I put in my noodles, my cheese, the onion, bell pepper, um, and chicken. I put in one can of cream of mushroom, one can of cream of chicken. I added onion powder, garlic powder, and my favorite Creole seasoning. Just a little dab of salt and a little dab of pepper. And I mixed it all up until it was mixed really well. I put it in the pan, spread it out even, and then I added some more of the sharp cheddar cheese as well as some four cheese um, Mexican and I'll show you again what it looks like since I wasn't recording so I put it in here and I don't know if you can see it that good but this is what it looks like I just put it in the oven all right so we're gonna let that cook for 45 minutes is what I set the timer on. So now, so now I can clean up and then we can get on the salad, okay? All right, see you in a minute. Totally forgot about the bread. So, let's see. Preheat oven to 425. So that oven is on 350, so instead of five minutes, I'll probably let it cook for 10. Hope I don't mess it up. But I'm only gonna do four slices. The cheese already melting. Cheese is already melting. Let those go together. Oh, and I love boiled eggs in my salad, so I got some eggs on the boil. Pouring again, y'all. I cut the cucumber up first. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, my husband and I like to build our own salad. So, whether he's making it or I'm making it, what we do is we cut up everything individually, put them in containers, and then put those containers in the refrigerator. And so when it's time to fix your salad, you can build it, put as much or as little as you want. So that's what we do.
while I'm cutting up the bell peppers, I just wanted to ask you to keep my cousin Chris. He was named after my father, and so was I. My father was Christopher Middleton. He passed away in 2015. My cousin Chris, I'm 50, excuse me, I'm 48. Chris has to be like 52, 51, something like that. Anyway, it's like a brother to me, but his dad and my dad were brothers, and he was named after my father, or he is named after my father. He was in a terrible accident the day after um, Christmas. Um, I'm probably going to insert pictures of his truck right here. He was in a terrible accident. He doesn't remember anything about the accident. He's having a lot of issues. His head was mashed in. No brain damage. Thank Jehovah for that. Um, he's been on a ventilator um, since he's been in the hospital. He was in the trauma unit. He's out of the trauma unit now. He had emergency surgery to remove blood clots from his lungs, his around his heart, and his legs. Um, and he was severely constipated from the morphine that they were giving him and had to have a tube put down his nose in order to pull the feces from his stomach so that he didn't get infected. So he, as you can hear from all I'm saying, he's been through a lot. Yesterday they tried to take him off the ventilator and um, it wouldn't work. Today I just got a group text and I saw it on my phone. It says, hey y'all, good news, the chest tube is out. The ventilator is still here, but it's on CPAP, which is allowing him to control his breathing with a little help. So he's doing much better. And um, we're real grateful that um, things are working out um, because, as you can see from the pictures, this was a terrible accident. And they, maybe you were saw my video where I shared that my aunt passed away about a month or so ago. That was his mother. So... Um, says his wife is there and she sent the update so good so the hospital is allowing visitation only one hour a day only one of his immediate family members so I'm not going to go to South Carolina but um, just keep him in your thoughts and prayers um, because he has a long road to go so I just wanted to share that update, not going to get emotional, just wanted to share the update and let you know what was going on with my family so that you guys can include that in your prayers. All right, I had half a piece of purple onion in the refrigerator, so I'm going to chop that up, see if we can get it fine. And this is what it looks like. And that's the bread. So I still haven't jumped in the shower. What I'm going to do is go ahead and jump in the shower. And then when I get out the shower, we'll give it a try. All right, y'all. It's time to make our plate. I'm so excited. Everything looks so good. So I'm going to build my salad first. I'm going to add some... Shredded lettuce. And my hands are clean. Some cucumber. A 
little bell pepper. Some chopped tomato. Some purple onion. Few avocado. I could eat this by itself, y'all. Few more avocado. <laughs> and I'm just gonna slice it in four and put it on the side. Add an eggshell and just a dab of salt. So that's our salad. Doesn't that look good? Oh, this looks so good. Got some chicken spaghetti. Look at that steam. Mm, 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 mm. That looks so good, y'all. It's hot, hot, hot. Can you see it? Ooh, it's hot. Okay. And we got one piece of toast. All right, let's go see. All right, y'all, let's give it a taste test. Why don't we? It looks so good. Can you see it? It looks so good. So let's give it a try. Mmm. That's the chicken spaghetti. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I got the flavors just right. All of my husband's gonna love this. I got the flavors just right. That tastes so good. I got a little Italian dressing on my salad. Mmm. This tastes so good. Want a bite? Look how cheesy it is. Mmm. 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 Just right. Got a piece of avocado. Mmm. 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 This is the perfect little meal. This is the per. Look at all the peppers. See the peppers? And the chicken. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. She did that, y'all. Mmm. 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 I'm going to put the steps to how you make it down in the description box if you're interested. And I'm getting ready to go enjoy my meal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Just cook with me and taste test. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you can get even more video. See you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.